Tokyo takes flight. I see my manga, Tuirangi. Tuirangi's needlepoint peak is the compass of my sky. Humming with it, spinning through the spheres and tattooing tailed clouds between the stars. So thick that even by the light of the bloody sun, I know the way home. The hawk you rests on its peak and surveys the land. I can see my awa, ora kanui. Wairua, kakanui. I can see my teeth in my awa. Its skin ripples shines as clear as quartz, in sync with the wisdom that she whispers to me. I journey up my maunga and see my awa. The water reminds me of my tupuna fire. The hawk your soups to drink at her crystal banks. I see my moana, tauranga, kaipara, matauri. Tauranga's arms are open. Her rough, welcoming voice calls to me, come here, come here. She, full of a stunning, colorful ocean life. Her children are thriving. Lovingly, she pulls me in. The greatest feeling is her embrace, which makes me whole. It hurts to leave, but I know she'll be there tomorrow. The hawk your dives in and grabs a single shimmering fish. The hawk your flew, flew to our ears and told us what it knew. The mother of all mothers sent us a message. Yeah. A disaster is coming. She sent us an uomoko. <laughs> a seeing the man of trembling legs is not right up with the birds. Stop being a natural sculpture of his curve. He split into two and sick with the heart of Papa Tuanuku. When I call to my monga, no one responds but a pile of resources for a building I'll never want to live in. I can't see. Rangi Nui was clutched by the ribs and torn open, and it rains blood. Too hot, too heavy, too blinding. My manga is no longer there to guide me home. She sent us to Laroa. I saw my reflection in his waters, but now his waters hold an unfamiliar face. Sent with his insecurities, yellow bulgy boils that scattered discoloration across his blue-colored skin. He stumbled across concrete jungles, jumbled in between a land filled with too many fucking landfalls. Our mother's tears had turned into tidal waves that sent the sea crying. Why is she crying? The street falls from my chest to kneel at my feet. From riverbank to riverbank, there is no water to carry my voice. She will never see tomorrow, suffocated by a blanket that gave her no warmth. Papa Tuanuku's skin is lifeless. She is too stiff, too still. She is now a skeleton of a person who was never meant to pass away. We, we are mourning, children reaching for a body that is no longer there. Papa Tuanuku. She was carried away in a casket we customized to fit her size. The mother, mother of all mothers sent us a message. A, a disaster, disaster is coming. coming. The disaster oh. is here. 